my Harvest Renewal family and my buddies from Facebook. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, sitting out on our front porch just enjoying this beautiful Sunday afternoon weather. Hope you, everyone is doing well and um, what, a, what a wonderful day to be able to just enjoy. I, um, I hope you, you were able to see our um, live or our video this morning from Harvest Renewal Church and it was really great great worship great word from Paul Smith and it was just so encouraging and if you haven't seen it we are it's on our Facebook page it's on our family page and you can view it anytime during the day in the coming days so we just want to encourage you in that uh, a couple of things I want to share with you uh, in this uh, just this brief moment right now um, I was uh, I was kind of just uh, as a result of this morning listening to our uh, service uh, the Lord brought this passage to my heart out of the second book of Thessalonians I want to read it to you and and it says this it says now may the Lord Jesus Christ of our Father God who loved us and in his wonderful grace gave us eternal comfort and a beautiful hope that cannot fail I love that beautiful hope that cannot fail encourage your hearts and inspire you with strength to always do and speak what is good and beautiful in his eyes Isn't that a great verse it really is the thing that sticks out to me is just uh, as it's written in many places in the Word of God uh, the need for encouragement and uh, as we are in these uh, hours and these, de these days dealing with what we're dealing with, uh, we certainly need encouragement. You know, the word encourage means to add courage. And of course, discouragement means courage being taken away. And so, um, you know, fear, the, the, the thing that, that helps us to overcome fear many times is just continually being in a place where we can be encouraged. You know, there really are three sources of encouragement that I see for a Christian. Uh, one source of encouragement is through his, his word, his promises. Uh, you know, anything that you read in the word of God is so encouraging. And I encourage you, I encourage you during this time to be able to, uh, to just, you've got time now, I tell you, to be able to just in, invest into the word of God and uh, to be able to just soak on his promises and and I encourage you to do that the second thing that brings such encouragement to our lives is the presence of God and uh, you know there's so many places on YouTube and things where we can just one just listen to worship this morning in our harvest worship uh, as Danielle and Danita and others led it was just amazing so encouraging and just being in the presence of God, I encourage you to just rest in Him. I encourage you to to be able to enjoy His presence. And uh, I know as you do, it's going to bring you great encouragement. And then lastly here, uh, encouragement comes from you and me, from one another. And I just encourage you to spend time encouraging each other, especially those that you love, you care for, your family those that's in our church family um, to be able to just daily uh, make a phone call uh, do FaceTime uh, you know uh, use uh, zoom calls so many so many great tools that are out there today that you could utilize but just simply whether it's through texting emailing calling or whatever people need to be encouraged and when you're encouraged and when you're adding courage back into someone's life I tell you the enemy cannot win we are more than conquerors it says in the Word of God one thing that we're going to be doing this next week especially on our family page here is that we are going to be um, sharing little 10 minute devotionals with you all during the week from myself Pastor Cindy Pastor Rifle people like Nicole Cool and others that we're going to be sharing with you about you know how to flourish in the midst of uncertain times and so uh, I, I ask you to check keep checking your Facebook you'll probably get a notice when there's something going on 
and uh, hopefully this will bring a lot of encouragement to you. Just uh, once again, just want to let you know how very special uh, each of you are to Cindy and I. We love you so much. We're praying for you, and we're here for you, really are. And so uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful Sunday afternoon with your family. Have a great time. Play a bunch of games. Have fun. Laugh. Okay? God bless you so much, and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.